Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're gonna do your love reading. Please remember it is a general reading and um, may not resonate with everyone. Will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. You can check out your other uh, signs. Uh, there is a playlist link below for more messages or guidance. Uh, everything else you need to know is in the description box. The only thing that I'm going to point out is that you um, can enter my giveaway. I do do a monthly giveaway with prizes, so details are to below if you'd like to enter. Also, the last thing is I have a new channel for my subscribers. It is um, Heal to Love 333. It's a channel where you can go to do meditations, healing, uh, chakra uh, work. I've put two links below. Uh, one for the uh, heart chakra, so you can clear any blockages, get the energy flowing to manifest and attract love in your life, or just to heal past hurts. So that is below as well, as well as I do have a root chakra uh, for being grounded. Okay, that can help with um, feeling grounded, centered, more focused on goals, and also attracting money, love as well. So check those out. If you like them, please subscribe, like um, to my new channel. I appreciate it. There's gonna be more uh, videos, uh, angel messages, uh, releasing contracts, and a whole bunch of different things. So I hope you enjoy them, and let's get started with your reading. Okay, Pisces, we're gonna start here by pulling uh, a few of these uh, Island uh, Time Wellness, uh, these are Love Oracle cards. Give me just a moment here because I feel like there are some cards. No, I think we're okay. <laughs> I thought there was some cards that were turned upside down. Oh, yep, there it is. It was the date card. <laughs> Maybe that's an indication some of you may be going on a date. So let's just get a couple messages to start the reading for Pisces, okay. All right, so we have uh, the ax, okay? So some of you may have been recently through a separation or a uh, breakup. This can also be the energy of blocking someone as well. So whether it was you or your person. So remember that um, energies can be reversed as well. You have cassette, okay? So this says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying vents over in your head. So some of you may be really thinking about this or your person is. Someone here um, can't stop thinking, okay, about the other person after this uh, breakup or separation. And then the bottom of the deck you have here is Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. Okay, so I feel here you got uh, some sort of new love. This can also be renewal. Okay, if some of you are wanting to renew a connection with someone. So let's pull some tarot, see what other messages come out for you. Ooh. It's good. I hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy and safe. Okay, so... Um, we just had the new moon in Pisces, okay, shedding the past, bringing in the new, so that would be very on point for you, okay, with the Cupid's arrow, but let's see what comes in for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what can you tell Pisces about love, okay? What's coming in for love? We're going to do the current energy first. So we have the Knight of Pentacles your energy here Pisces in the upcoming actions position upcoming actions or challenges for Pisces in love all right we have the king of swords the two of cups and then in the near future uh, outcome and guidance we have the nine of swords and we have the eight of cups interesting Look at that, bottom of the deck here, you have the Ace of Pentacles, all right. So let's uh, get started. So in your current energy, you have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Moon card. 
So I do feel like there is somebody new coming in for you with this Knight of Pentacles, okay? Do you feel like you have a new offer? For some of you, I feel like you could uh, still be thinking or stuck on a past breakup or a past person, but there is somebody coming in, could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, all right? But I sense here too with this Moon card, it can be a situation where you may be, um, I'm getting like hesitant, you may have fears, okay, about a new person, especially if you just recently went through some sort of separation or breakup. Okay, we will clarify as needed. Now you have in your upcoming uh, actions uh, position here, you have the King of Swords and you have the Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you uh, have a new person coming in okay uh somebody also could be an aquarius a libra a gemini but this is also cancer scorpio pisces so i sense here there's a new soulmate coming in but i feel like some of you may have fears okay about this connection this also can be communication coming in from your person from the past as well now in your near future position you have the nine of swords and you have the eight of cups okay I feel like there is going to be some sort um, of worry, okay, or anxiety um, for you. And I feel like it's for a lot of you, you may not have closure from a past breakup, okay? And I see you still thinking about this. And I sense here that some of you, um, okay, may uh, be having a hard time, you know, especially if you just came out of a relationship but I do see something long-term coming in for you. Of the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful energy there, something very abundant, something long-term. You have the Death card here, so I sense, this can be Scorpio, but I sense whoever blocked you or you blocked them. Um, I feel for this new love to come in, this long-term situation here, that that, that situation uh, needs to come to a close, needs to come to an end. But let's uh, clarify the cards. I'm going to clarify here uh, the moon card first. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the moon card here, please? All right. You have the three of pentacles. You have the page of wands. And let's get one more. You have the tower. Okay, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Double confirmation there. Ace of pentacles. Now this could be also somebody that you are in a long-term uh, connection with, but I feel like this new energy is uh, definitely more stable and long-term for you. You have the three of pentacles. So definitely I feel you are disappointed uh, in the situation that recently happened here, okay? There is a sense of focusing on past events, okay? Maybe you're having a hard time letting go of the hurt, whether you're done with this person or you want to reconcile and the heart chakra um, meditation that I have in the description box the link there will actually help you in releasing that energy um, especially like right now it is a very um, with the new moon in Pisces it can be very emotional can cause anxiety here so you may be having a hard time releasing this situation you have the page of wands in the tower and this is where I feel you're still maybe dealing with a past situation or a past hurt. And there's somebody new coming in out of the blue here with the tower. So the tower can represent that you just had a breakup or I feel here it's unexpected communication with this page of wands. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. But I feel like um, you this communication could be your person from the past, but for a lot of you, I feel like it's this new person coming in. Somebody here, I feel here is going to be more consistent. So let's keep going. Uh, I think we're pretty clear that you're going to get communication from your soulmate here. Definitely showing that uh, can be clarity uh, as well. Okay, there may be some truth I'm getting as well that or secret that is revealed that could have caused this breakup I'm getting as well. So let's clarify the Nine of Swords. Why is there still anxiety or worry here? 
bottom of the deck here, uh, two of swords. So yes, I definitely get here. You, you are still um, thinking about a past situation, a past hurt or a person here. And it's making you very indecisive, I feel, about moving forward towards new love. Here's another indication of a new love coming in with the Six of Wands. So I sense here this new love is something that could lead to something very long-term and, and committed. But I feel there's this energy here with the Two of Swords you may be holding back. And it may be that you need to do some healing here with the Temperance card. Okay, got Sagittarius energy. Uh, it's about patience, healing. Maybe it's not the right timing for you. That's going to be your choice as well. But look here, you have the Four of Wands. Look at that and the Two of Cups. I really feel like this reading is telling you that you have something new coming in once you can close out that chapter with this past person or the past hurt or, you know, just needing to heal. There is something very beautiful coming in here for you. Okay, definitely a strong uh, divine partner. Okay, so let's clarify this Eight of Cups. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? Okay, you've got the Two of Wands. You have the Justice card. Let's get one more. Seven of Wands, okay, yeah, Ten of Swords. I feel like some of you uh, or a lot of you are still processing a past hurt or healing from a past connection uh, that ended. And I feel like you have the Justice card, could be Libra energy here, but I feel like it's a situation that definitely you didn't feel like you were treated right and I feel you trying to move on from all those emotions, okay, of the situation uh, because you also have the two of wands, all right? So I feel like some of you could be torn, okay, from this past person, you know, wanting to uh, maybe still reconcile with this person. Um, but it, this is that crossroads energy. You have the seven of wands here as well. I feel, I feel like if this person blocked you, it definitely really hurt you because I feel you didn't get the clarity that you needed, right, to move on. And I feel like that's where you are, okay? But it can just be that uh, the hurt from, it can just be the hurt from being blocked or, you know, you can be guarded now uh, from this past connection. But there is definitely something very nice coming in for you with this Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles, something long-term. Okay, and just know it may have not been the right timing for you and this person, <clears throat> and now something better is going to come along. So let's pull a few uh, Romance Angel cards for Pisces. What does Pisces uh, need to know? Some of you could be uh, definitely in a legal separation, okay, or going through divorce as well. Yeah, first card that flipped over is release your ex. Can you believe that? All right, I'm going to pull that card first. You have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energies. So you may have broken up with an ex. You may have separated from an ex. And it may have been quite some time, but you may still have that energy there that's holding you back. So again, uh, check below for the healing uh, links, okay? That will help you release the energy. You have expressed your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This fell with this Knight of Pentacles and this is this person. I feel there's somebody around you who is definitely going to express some sort of interest. I feel it's, if it hasn't happened already, I feel it's going to happen between now and one month time and just know that timing can be flexible. And then you have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is where you're at that crossroads trying to make some sort of decision, okay, whether you're going to go on the new path or whether uh, you're going to continue to hold on to something in the past, okay. So uh, very positive reading for you, Pisces. I feel here you have a choice, but... There's definitely a lot of um, abundance coming your way if you move to the path of the new. 
All right. So um, again, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway or uh, check out the uh, healing meditations. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.